You know, we've been talking in recent podcasts about strange Olympic uh, moments, and uh, this is this is something that had to be seen to be believed. Now, the 1976 Olympics, probably for the time, was the most broadcast worldwide of any Olympics because of the the amount of uh, qual- top quality athletes there, the big swimming competition, track and field, Bruce Jenner, Wanta Reina, you know, Greg Joy in Canada winning silver in the high jump, uh, you know, Hazley Crawford in 100, bores off. But uh, the closing ceremony of the Olympics seemed to be family oriented until this happened. Now, with the entrance of all the, the spectacle of the country's flag bearers, athletes, they had a presentation of almost like a bunch of dancers mimicking the rings of the Olympic movement. Now, when it was shown on CBC, it was shown like high up to give the essence of what was going on. And all of a sudden, a lone figure ran into the rings. Even from the distance of the camera, I think it was could have been a Goodyear blimp or maybe there was no drones back then, but it was a high camera. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it was another streaker. Now, streaking was a big thing in the mid-1970s. Uh, you were seeing uh, various events. The streaked at the Oscars, you know, David Niven saying, you know, showing his shortcomings. Now, fortunately, this guy was pretty well in shape. Now, he was wearing literally no clothes. He had a very flat arse. And from what I saw, most of the dancers either ignored him or didn't want to bother with him in any shape or form. Now, he was in the center of the ring, and it looked to be a lone uh, Quebec uh, cop basically went up to him and said, you know, what's going on? Now, if I'm not mistaken, the five rings were going on. He may have been on ring number, the top of the third or the bottom of the second. Anyway, it was taken away. Now, a lot of of media outlets didn't cover it, but some did. Now, if you go on... uh, Google, you're going to see various photos of the, the, the streaker. And all I can say is that some people were turned around to him, and the people uh, that did see him basically were so trained to keep uh, their dancing. It didn't, you didn't have, one, didn't have one of them that went up to him and said, what the heck are you doing? So if you can find the tape out there, I don't think it's an official Bud Greenspan uh, style, you know, official film of the 76 Olympics. But all I know, it was being shown and the music was playing, it was silent. And it was before I think the trumpeter trumpeted the, the, to uh, put, out the, uh, put out the flame. Again, ranks are one of the most interesting, not say sporting events in Canadian Olympic history, but put upon sporting events. And again, uh, we don't know who he is. The, the press at the time, I don't know if they, they couldn't find out who was charged. Anyway, he caused no problem, and as soon as he was on, within 20 seconds, he was off again. So that's that's my streak in Olympic story, and I'm sticking to it. Thanks for listening. Bye.